Right here we've got uh, some juvenile herring gulls. I think it's fair to say they're going to be learning the hard way. Now, to not upset a whole colony of blackety gulls. Um, I don't mind I'm having a fight over this raft because uh, we're going to tow this one in very, very shortly so that we do get some common terms on there again like we did last year. Um, Go Wars! There's a pair of adults over on the Shingle Island and uh, they're not going to give up though. The one thing about blackety girls, when they treat any spot as their nest spot, they will just attack and antagonize until they uh, give up. So, um, yeah. Start with this one because he's out of the water and uh, you can see his pink legs. His or her. That'd be nice. Yes, thank you. Turn around. Oh, lovely. Good of you to fly off. Nice little comparison of adults. No doubt doing a little bit of uh, courtship there. My volume stuff. Here we go. Isn't that a fiction? It's quite nice, I suppose. Um, yeah, but the juvenile in the foreground just drifting out of view. Gives us a, a flavour. It would be lovely if we could um, show you, um, or I could show you some different girls other than just herring and lesser blackback. Um, the common girls have all gone. You might get the odd one now, but inland Berkshire, certainly where our little um, lakes, gravel pits are, just does not hold uh, any quantity of big girls. It, it, um, there was a flock of about sort of 30 plus herring and lesser blackback. I was really hoping that the whole lot would drop in over here and give us an opportunity to at least search. Let's be optimistic. I like to be optimistic about what could happen. I do check every single gull that, that lands or even flies for that matter if I can get my bins on it. Um, juvenile gulls in flight. Some can be straightforward, some not so. So this is uh, another herring gull. Um, he doesn't know the rules either. He's uh, getting grief from the uh, blackety girls. Yes, yeah, so um, calendar years is the way they're described. 1CY, 2CY, 3CY, 4CY. I think four years it takes to mature for the large girls. And um, you got everything in between. And then you have um, so much variety they really don't know how to play nicely because some even hybridize. There's albinoism. It, it's just hysterical. Um, but it's a challenge. And, and at the end of the day, I, my personal feeling is we should all look at birds as every day, on a daily basis, as an opportunity to learn something uh, and witness something you haven't seen before. And it's surprising how often it happens. Gotta say, I'm gonna be looking at my books. The bird that just came off the rock. Well, not anyone on the rock now. If not both, they're very large. And uh, long legged. Don't really seem pale headed enough. They certainly are big. I think that could be a juvenile yellow leg. Again, upper tail might be too speckled. This time of year, I would expect that to be white-headed. I mean, it's got the eye mask. But, uh, and it's huge, it really is a big gull, you can see it compared to the others. Um, if this is a yellow leg, it will be my first one for years. It's got a lot going on. You should be able to record enough in this footage. You just see a tiny bit of paleness in the primary. Nothing like 
herring, just a teeny little bit of the inner sort of four or five primaries there. I think this is a pretty good candidate. Again, doing the stone stuff, I don't know what that's about really, but practice, having a laugh, who knows. Comparing that to other obvious herring go next to it. I'm going to kick him off. Yep. <laughs> we should have way, way enough material. Look at the length of the legs on it. It might just be one of those Argentatus things.